Hello everybody and welcome to the video. My name is Midnight Racer and today we're on GTA and we are going to be customizing the Gauntlet Interceptor Hellfire Cop Car. Now if you want to purchase this cop car for yourself, go into your internet, go to Warstock Cash and Carry and you're going to find it here. Now I have the trade price unlocked but if you don't have the trade price unlocked it's going to be over five million dollars. So I got the trade price by going into your map and accessing uh, a contact called Vincent over here in this area. So he's going to give you a series of missions to do. If you just do the first mission, you can unlock the cop car. But if you do all of the missions, you'll unlock the trade price for the police car. All right, let's get into it. This car is so amazing. I absolutely love the Hellcat in real life. It's one of my dream muscle cars. All right, let's go ahead and fully upgrade it. I do this before I start doing any of the cosmetics. Uh, so we go tires, bullet for tires, go transmission, go turbo, and uh, we'll work on everything else later. All right, bumpers. Got front bumper, primary splitter, secondary splitter, carbon splitter, secondary front bumper, secondary bumper and splitter, and secondary bumper and carbon. So I'm gonna give it the carbon. Uh, rear bumper, you get a parachute or a wheelie bar. Okay, cool. It's not what I uh, wanna go for. Exhausts, big bore, tuner, race, side exit, and titanium side exit. Uh, I like the tuner or the big bore. I'm gonna go with the big four. I might change that later. All right, grills, stock grill, grill delete, secondary grill, black grill, primary open grill, secondary open, and black open. We'll go black open. Headlight covers, uh, stock, black grill, chrome grill, dual headlight intakes, single light cover, light cover and intake, dual light covers, mesh grill, and plated front. I'm just gonna keep it uh, stock. Hood, stock hood, smooth, secondary, carbon, primary vented, oh, I like that one, uh, secondary, and then carbon vented. I'm gonna do the primary vented, but then we got dual filter, large filter blower oval intake bug catcher it's massive man triple intake bug catcher and if you rev it that opens up the valves that's just that's great uh but that's a little bit too much so i'm gonna go with the primary vented all right headlights we're gonna put xenon headlights uh let's worry about the livery uh, let's uh, go to the very top. So you got none, LSPD, modern, state trooper, highway patrol, county sheriff, Richmond PD, airport PD, Rockford Hills, Del Perro, Davis, Port Authority. Grapeseed PD, Palito Bay PD, Light, State Trooper Light, Highway Patrol Light, County Sheriff Light, Stealth, uh, okay, Stealth Options, so the Stealth ones remove the numbers from the roof, and the Light ones remove all the other extra numbers on the back trunk, rear fenders, quarter panels, and the little sponsors there too. Okay, going back down, and we get highway patrol, county sheriff, drag team, race team, and back to none. Police equipment, aerials. Okay, you get these antennas on the rear, antennas on the roof, and you get these no idea what those are, but 
then you get a bunch of antennas on the roof and the trunk, and then whatever those things are on the trunk. Uh, then you spread them out. You get one on the roof, one antenna on the roof, and then you get those weird... I don't know if those are lights or cameras. Uh, then you get out of whack. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like to keep it simple. I would probably do the antennas on the rear like that, but I'm going to keep it none for now. Searchlights. Basic. Folded. Raised. Folded dual. Driver raised. And raised dual. So I want to keep this build clean, uh, but one thing to know about these searchlights is that they actually turn on when you activate your high beams. So that's something to know about. Emergency lighting. This is what we wanted. Yep. So you get no emergency lighting for a little bit more of an undercover stealth build, which is kind of what I want to build. So I'm going to put that on. But then we get custom lighting one, lighting two, three, four. And that's it. What are the differences between three and four? I cannot really see a difference. Three and two. So two looks like a really classic police cruiser light bar. And number two is a little bit more modernized. But I want the undercover one. So we're going to leave that. Then you get push bar, basic, patrol, response, prowler, interceptor, tactical, and assault. Uh, so depending on your build, you can do these. Uh, I would probably pair that with the light bar on the top, but since I have an undercover build, I'm going to leave it as no bar. Uh, rear panel, stock, primary, secondary, carbon, black surround, primary surround, and secondary surround and plating. I'm going to do carbon. Uh, respray. Okay, so you can basically do whatever color you want. You can go all black. Really stealth this thing out and make it completely undercover. I'm gonna go with the uh, black. Roll cage. Got a lot going on in this interior. I'm gonna leave it stock. Roof. You can get a carbon roof. Blacks out the numbers there a little bit. Okay. Skirts. Primary and secondary. I'm gonna leave it stock. Spoiler. We're gonna give it stock spoiler. Secondary lip. Plastic lip. Carbon lip. Stock car. Drag. Mid level. High level. Drift wing. And tuner wing and race wing. I'm gonna give it the carbon lip. All right, suspension. I would drop it a little bit, but not slam it. Um, I'll drop it to street. All right, everything else is good. Wheels, I'm gonna give it Hellcat wheels. Those are, you can either go with the Cheetah Carbon R wheels or just the Cheetah RR wheels. So I'll go with those. Go black. All right, everybody. So this is my overall look. And I chose the Highway Patrol fully optioned livery because if you look at the numbers, 456, like unit 456, my uh, my PlayStation <laughs> no, ID is 456, Midnight Racer 456. That's perfect. And then you got 42 on the trunk there matches the license plate 42 or 420 and then 546 which is just the numbers jiggled around it there but it's still 456 so this decal is absolutely just perfect for me and I could not be more happy with the way it ended up turning out absolutely love it absolutely love it so now let's go ahead and take it out for a drive tell you right off the bat it feels so much better than the actual normal hellfire that we have in the game already 
feels more planted, easier to drive. Feels just as fast, if not just a slightly little bit faster. The brakes are way better. Oh, it's so stable. I actually love it, man. And of course, being a cop car, turn on those sirens and the lights, and everybody scrambles to get out of your way. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. Oop. I could not be more happy with this car, man. Seriously. Alright. Turn the sirens off. And find a parking lot. And let's check it out. Ah, perfect. The Vespucci Police Department. Man. It looks so good, dude. So good. Oh, let me turn the lights on. One second. And then I step out. And the siren lights stay on. How about that? Oh, it looks so good. Let's turn on that engine and the lights. So we'll go over to control preferences. And remote functions. Engine on. And there we go. <laughs> looks so good, dude. It looks so, so good. Open up the doors. That cop interior looks fan- Oh, look at that! Even the, the, the Hellfire logo on the steering wheel also blinks red. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't notice that before. And then you get the shotguns, weapons right in between the driver and passenger seats police control mission control center there with the laptop bunch of police gear in the back to your gas ammunition a big gun case and a uh, armor and this thing is awesome totally awesome in my opinion it's worth the money uh, but of course if you have the money well yeah that's up for you to decide but thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss another upload from me. And let me know if you guys would like to see more customization videos from me and GTA in the future. So yeah, thank you, peace!